I handled a number of domestic violence cases ranging from harassment, uh, violation of restraining orders, all the way up to attempted murders. It's never clean cut. There's never one straight victim and one straight batterer. Domestic violence cases move very, very quickly. There is up to 10 days, that is the maximum time limit between a temporary restraining order and the final restraining order hearing. The most common domestic violence crime that we see after a restraining order is entered is contempt. It's when a communication takes place between the person that's a victim and the person that's a defendant on the restraining order. A contempt is an automatic mandatory arrest. That arrest goes on your record for the rest of your life. If I am working with a client, the number one thing that I ask myself, how would I want to hear this? If I'm sitting there, what are they thinking? How are they going to feel with this news of delivery? What type of other questions are they going to need to field? This process is not an easy process, and it is not necessarily always a fair process, but the attorneys here at Bramnick Rodriguez, we have the legal skill set. We know the rules of evidence, but we also have a heart, and don't forget you and your family in the process.